The grounding system is the unsung hero of your electric fence system. When an animal comes in contact with an electrically charged fence, the animal feels an electrical shock. This is in part because of the charge created at the fence charger, but equally as important because of the charge received by your ground rods that is fed back into the charger to close the circuit on your electric fence system. So, almost instantaneously, the charge goes through the animal to the ground and reaches the ground rods you have installed. It then reaches the ground terminal on the charger, completing the circuit of the entire system. To properly install your grounding system, you will need three six-foot grounding rods of either copper or galvanized steel, copper being the most conductive option, ground rod clamps to attach your insulated wires to your ground rods, the clamp should be the same metal as the ground rod you have chosen for each ground rod. And insulated hookup wire that is 10 to 14 gauge. Start by marking out where you want the ground rods to be installed. When possible, choose low laying areas that receive more moisture. Space the grounding rods out 10 feet apart from each other and at least 50 feet from any other ground systems, utility poles, and lines and keep them near your charger if possible to avoid running long stretches of insulated wire. Once you start driving ground rods in, make sure to put ground rod clamps on first in case mushrooming takes place on the end, making it impossible to slide on closed ground rod clamps. Use a mallet, sledge, or post driver to drive the ground rods into the ground, making sure they are at least four feet deep to get below the frost line. Once the rods have been driven into the earth at the appropriate distances, connect the rods using a single piece of insulated wire and ground rod clamps. Make sure your charger is unplugged or turned off, and then run this insulated wire from your ground rods to the ground terminal on your fence charger. After the ground wire has been connected to your terminal and your fence wire connected to your fence terminal, plug your charger in or turn on your solar or battery operated charger to confirm operation. Using a fence tester, check your fence line at multiple points to verify adequate voltage. Once you've confirmed voltage running on your lines at multiple points, you've successfully installed your grounding system and fence setup. You'll want to monitor voltage levels occasionally to get ahead of potential voltage loss on your fence lines from external factors like weed growth, weather related events, or other objects pulling fence voltage down. With proper installation and maintenance, you'll have a safe and successful animal containment solution for years to come. Hopefully, this video has cleared up a few questions for your electric fence grounding installation. If you have additional questions, give us a call at 855-592-7322.